How much funds you should keep on your Binance account? How you can secure your Binance account and do you really need to do that? Well, the short answer is yes. And how much fund you should keep? That's a very good question. And we'll look into all this question in this video where you'll be learning about how to secure your Binance account. And this is very important for any user who are using Binance or any other exchange. It doesn't matter if even though this video is only for Binance users, but if you are using any cryptocurrency exchange, do watch this video because this will help you to learn how you can secure your exchange account. Hi everyone, I'm Harsh Agarwal. I'm the founder of Coinsutra.com and I founded Coinsutra in 2016. Since last five years, I've been helping you with my videos, with my content to level up your cryptocurrency knowledge. And today we are touching upon one of the very important topic that is your account security. And this is one of the most underlooked topic in the cryptocurrency world. But at the same time, what you need to understand that if you get into such problem where your account is compromised or hacked or you lose access to your account, you need to get in touch with the Binance or your exchange support center. And let me tell you one thing for sure, the support staff of all the exchanges are overloaded because of the sheer amount of people who are signing up for these exchanges. So there are high chances that it might take few days or weeks for you to get access to your account back and you don't want to be somebody who's who's in that situation so the best solution is that you follow all the tips suggested in this video which will help you to secure your binance account or you secure your exchange account so that you you can keep trading and investing freely with that let's go ahead let's do this all right so a background story few days back my binance account was hacked and I woke up in the morning seeing an email from Binance team that like, hey, we have seen some weird transaction in your account, some weird trades on your account. Is, was it you who have traded in the account? And they have frozen the trading activity and the withdrawal activity. Now, of course, it was not me. And uh, luckily, I did not lose any fund, but my trading activity was was blocked for a few days. And I need to go back and forth with the Binance team to resume my account and it was a tiring experience and I don't want you to go through this kind of experience ever and hence this video. Now before we move ahead if you are first time here you should definitely like and subscribe to my channel so that you keep getting notification for the new videos as I publish or you'll also get exposure to our old cryptocurrency videos on your YouTube homepage. So the very first thing how much funds that you should keep on your exchange account and exchanges are nowadays not only about trading they also offer features like saving account and where you can earn an extra income on your parked funds well the short answer is not your key not your funds and this is a very famous saying in the cryptocurrency world what that means is if you don't have access to the private key of your cryptocurrencies you don't really hold the cryptocurrencies. Now exchanges like Binance and Kraken or Coinbase are very very much secured but still in the past we have seen with some of the most secure exchanges like Mount Gox and there, there has been an exchange in Turkey where the where the CEO ran away with all the funds. So this can happen with any exchanges in the world be it Binance, be it Coinbase, be it any other exchanges. The probability of this happening with exchanges like Binance or Coinbase is very low but there are still risk associated with it. And more than that you need to understand that these exchanges are not apart from Coinbase is regulated but exchanges like Binance and others are not regulated or not secured the fund are not insured so if you lose your fund you lose your fund forever so thumb rule keep only those fund in your exchange account that you are going to trade rest move all the funds to your cold wallet something like you should get a hardware wallet like Legion NOX and you should keep your funds there now coming back to the saving account feature so most of the staking feature you can directly use using your Legion NOX I know it's going to be a little lengthy process for many of you but doing that if you are holding a coin for two years three year term using a hardware wallet would is much better than keeping it on your exchange account because if you lose it you lose it all 
But apart from that, there are many things that you can do to secure your Binance account and we'll be looking into that. So the second step is using a unique email address. So you might be having a generic email address that you are using for all your communication, for all your registration. But when it comes to cryptocurrency exchanges, you should be using a unique email address which you are not sharing in public. Maybe you can sign up for a new Gmail account, you can sign up for any other email services out there and then you can use that email address for your exchange account. But make sure that you are using all the security measures for your email account, for example, using a unique password. And it's very important that you should start using a password manager. I personally prefer something like LastPass or Dashlane, but you can free to choose any password manager that you want. A password manager would ensure that you're using a unique password for every a website that you are signing up for and at the same time all the passwords are going to be remembered by the password manager so you don't have to remember everything which is another bonus point make sure that you are using two-factor authentication and very important tip when you are using two-factor authentication whenever you are setting up two-factor authentication even on binance even on a gmail account or any email service they would show you some 10 digit or eight digit backup key Make sure that you keep, you note down that backup key on a piece of paper because if you ever lose access to your phone, you can always restore your two-factor authentication using that backup key. And this is one of the most critical query that a lot of users have that what do I do when I lose my two-factor authentication. So make sure that you take a backup of two-factor authentication backup key when you're setting up your account. So that's number, number two. Number three. When you're logged into your Binance account or any other exchange account, they have offered a lot of advanced security features and which is what we are going to look at, look into today. So once you're logged into your Binance account, click on your profile icon and click on security and you'll be seeing a page like this. Now there are a lot of steps that you can follow here to secure your account and let's have a look at each one of them. So very first thing is the security key. Now security key is a physical hardware device like a USB where you instead of 2FA, you can just simply need to press the physical button to log into your account. And if you are storing a large sum of fund on your exchange account like on Binance, then you should be ordering this security. So one of the most popular uh, solution is YubiKey. You, it works with your laptop, with your phone, and it's one of the best out there. You can find the link of the UBK in the description and that's something you should order. If, if you're using Google Authenticator, as I said in the step number two, you should make sure that you are keeping a backup of the key that is shown at the time of setup of your uh, authenticator. If you're not keeping a backup of that, then you are missing out a lot. If you have already set up to Google Authenticator, but you have not taken a backup of your backup key, what you can do is you can disable Google Authenticator and then you can re-enable it and then it would show you the backup key and then you can uh, make, make a backup. That's the way to go about it. Make sure that you enable SMS authentication and email address authentication. Of course, it's quite annoying when you are making a transaction, when you are doing a withdrawal, when you are logging in that you need to enter a lot of OTPs, but it is for your own good. You need to understand that when you are using a bank account or any regulated service, they all are insured and if something goes wrong, you have a customer support where you can call and get it resolved within minutes. But when you're dealing with cryptocurrency exchanges, the support, they don't have telephonic support and it can take days or weeks to resolve it. Another thing you can do is, and which is very important, is you can enable ad address management. You can enable the whitelist on. What that means is you, to withdraw an address, that address should be in your whitelist. And this actually add a, an extra layer of security. Again, it adds of the friction of you need to enter OTP again and again. But if you do this one step, you will be safeguarding yourself by a great notch. And make sure that you set up an anti-phishing code. What that means is whenever you're getting an email from uh, Binance, uh, you'll be seeing this unique string, unique word at the top of every email. And you know that this is an original email and not a phishing email. And do not worry, I'll be changing my anti-phishing code because this is something I do after creating every video. I need to change a lot of stuff. And it's a lot of hassle. And if you really like my effort, do like and subscribe to this channel. It will be very helpful. 
Now, another thing you can do is you can click on device management. The device management would show you all this computer and all the mobile phone from which you have access your Binance account. And if you see your old devices or any devices that you don't recognize, you know, you can just remove it from the device management page and make sure that you change your password if you see any unrecognized device. Similarly, you can always update your login password once in a while, though it's not very necessary if you are using a unique password and you're using all the two-factor authentication. But as a security measures, you can always up update everything after every six months. The account activity would show you all the accounts from which you have logged in. So it would show you something like this, like from uh, when was the last login to your account. And this would ensure that uh, you can always find out if you see any weird IP address logging into your account. So that these are some of the steps that you can take to secure your Binance account. But there is there are more stuff. One of them is API management. When you are creating your API, which you can always create by going to your profile and API management. When you're creating your API key, make sure that you disable the withdrawal feature. By default, it's always it's always disabled, but make sure that it's always uh, withdraw uh, it's always disabled. And very important that do not use any not trusted website with your API key because that's one way to surely lose access to your account. Always use the recognized services like three commas, bit universe, some of the crypto tax software, but do not use any new software randomly with your, do not trust them with your API key because your API key give them access to your trading functions. And it's not like those people have malicious uh, intention, but any hacker could get access to those software and hence they can use your account for pump and dump technique and you and the Binance team will might freeze your account for these activities. So these are some of the steps that you can take today to secure your account. I've also published a detailed video on how to secure your Binance account. I would highly recommend you to go ahead and read this. It will help you to level up your knowledge. Now with that guys, if you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. It's always good to keep leveling up your knowledge so that you, because we are in this territory where you are your own bank. And if you're not securing yourself, or you're not securing your accounts, you are basically putting yourself into a risk. Now you'll find all the links in the description. You can go ahead and check out Legend NOX, YubiKey. You can also read this article, which will help you to level up your knowledge. With that, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This is Hurt.